What is up, y'all? Okay, y'all, it is wash day. Hallelujah, it is wash day. It has been about four weeks now. It's been four weeks um, since I washed my hair last. Y'all know. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all got to keep that water in your life now, ladies and men. Whoever watched my video, anybody, children, grown folk, old people, keep the water in your life, okay? Mmm. Keep your skin pretty to make your hair grow, okay? <laughs> anyway, I came to do wash day with y'all. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and get right to the point so we won't have all day. As you guys can see, I got my hair all loose, okay? All the way combed out detangled in that last video that you've seen so now i'm just going to go ahead and proceed now if y'all been watching me for a long time you know i like to wash my hair in sections um this time i'm gonna attempt y'all attempt hold on to wash my hair in twists instead of braids honey let's well actually let me go ahead and plait it up because i don't want it to come loose um, it's gonna come loose in those twists. It's gonna come loose in those braids, honey. So, I'm gonna plait my hair up just just a little bit. I'm probably gonna do like six to eight braids or uh, plaits, and then I'll be right back with y'all as soon as my hair plaited up. I think I'm gonna do four and four on each, you know, on each side. Then I'm gonna be right back with y'all. Y'all know I ain't got all day. I ain't got all day. Okay, y'all. I am back. Got all my hair plaited up and things. And that's what it looked like all plaited up. Ripped. I'm ripped to put this shampoo in my hair. Okay, ripped to wash it. So I got my little towel clip done and everything. That's what I use these clips for, because, honey, I was tired of using them in my hair. I got my little water bottle, my little shampoo bottle that I use for shampoo. And I am using argan oil, sulfate-free moisturizing and shine shampoo okay so all i'm gonna do is as y'all can see it's already full of water and i'm just gonna put the shampoo in the bottom my thumb hurt oh. put the shampoo in the bottom i probably squeeze it like four times and i didn't put hot water in it this time y'all i don't know why because i always do but that's my little that's how much shampoo i got it's floating in there so it really ain't as full as much shampoo as it looks but the next thing i'm putting there as y'all know y'all follow me already we got some peppermint oil and i'm just gonna put like a drop of full in there since my peppermint oil already you know been used i had to put like a dropper and like two times out of here sometimes three child i don't know anyhow yeah, I'm going to do three. Yeah, so I put three drops of peppermint oil in there. Since my camera wanted to cut off, it won't let me be great. So now I got my peppermint oil, my shampoo, and my water all in my bottle. So I got the little top that come off it. I got this bottle from Sally, y'all. Sally Beauty Supply. Actually, what I'm going to do since the last time I tried to shake it up, and y'all didn't even see that. I never posted that video. Put my hand up here. Maybe I did. And shake it up. Because if I, if I shake it up with the thing on top, child it be getting everywhere okay so i'm gonna shake it up okay y'all see that it shook up it shook up good enough and uh, uh all right i got it it shook up i'm gonna put the top back on see with this top right here got a bunch of all of these are like little nozzles and stuff actually comes out i wasted a little bit but um if I try to shake it up, I can't hold all these, so I got to do it with my hand first. So, anyways, I got to get my little thing to go around my head, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so I got my little headband or whatever, shampoo band. I don't know what it is. I got it from Walmart a long time ago. It's for, like, people who be wearing it, put makeup on or whatever. Yeah, I, it's kind of made out, like, some, I don't know. Let me not explain, because I don't even know what the heck it is. Um, But I put it on my around my head y'all <laughs> okay i got it on now so it can collect the water since i wash my hair like this it helps a lot so i got everything done i'm ready to go see and i'm just gonna put this in there oh it's cold y'all i usually use hot water i use cold but it's all good it's all good uh. 
y'all can tell it got a lot of my hair got a lot of oils and stuff in it so it's not sudsing and plus this is a sulfate free shampoo i should have used my other shampoo but it's all good but this one actually does this one does suds up a, a good bit but since my hair is so oily honey it's taking a little minute so i'm just going to use it all the way around scrub it in there look I that on my neck, honey. He's all in there. Alright. I just kind of go wild and crazy with it, honey, because when I first started using it, when I first started washing my hair like this, it was so, like, child, I was every little section, but now I just slap it on and keep on going. There's a shower on my head, okay? A shower. Look at that. See how it come out? Okay. It's so much better than, um... Me being over the sink, child. It was challenging at first to try to, you know what I'm saying, get get in the habit of washing my hair like this. But honey, now that I do it, you know what I'm saying, now that I do my hair like this, wash my hair like this, it's so much easier. And I ain't got to worry about the stress of detangling my hair as much as I would if I just had my hair loose and I bent my head over in the, in the, in the kitchen sink because I washed my hair in the kitchen sink. And baby, ooh, it's yeah. Now I'm gonna put all of these plaits up right here. Up on my hair. So I can get some. Uh oh, I about ran out. I about ran out, y'all. Okay. I just wanted to get some shampoo on that. But it's all good. I'm gonna just rub them up in there. I'm gonna rub them up in there. Because I done ran out of stuff. And I don't worry about getting it too, too wet. Because for this right here. I'm going to uh, go rinse this out in the kitchen sink. Then y'all know I'll be done rinse it out. Because when that next shampoo, it's going to be real sudsy, okay? But I'll be right back. I'm going to rinse this out. And I'm going to um, come right back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Y'all can see me? Y'all can see me? All right, here. Uh, I got more shampoo. I mean, more water. I read the field with water. And I'm going to put some more shampoo in it. I'm probably just going to do like two and a half squeezes that time and i'm gonna put some more peppermint oil in it a little bit there and another little drop of food y'all <laughs> y'all can see me anyway put peppermint oil in there put my head on top like that shake, <laughs> shake it up Uh, okay, y'all, I got it shook up. I got it shook up. So, um, get my top and put it back on, okay? And we're going to wash it again. That's going to be the second wash. Okay, so, I ain't want my hair to be dripping, dripping, dripping while I was talking to y'all. So, that's why I still had it up in the towel. But, yeah, this is what it looks like when I take it down after that first wash. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey! Okay, so, oh, my God. Just gonna do it again. Second wash. Second wash. As y'all can see, the second wash got way more bubbles because guess what? What happened? I reduced a whole lot of that oil um, on the first wash. Took a lot of it out. Uh, and just gonna keep doing the same thing I already did. And the, the reason, the, the, I like my hair, I like washing my hair like this because it does not strip my hair, the hair, not my scalp, the hair of the moisture, you know, completely. I used to, back in the day, well, now I can't really, even really say back in the day, as an adult, just washing my hair so much that it was like squeaky clean, and I should not have done that. Now, what you want to do is you want some, you want some of the moisture to still be, you know, to still be left in your hair. That's the purpose. That's why a lot of people use sulfate-free shampoo, because it allows 
a lot of the moisture to remain it don't get your hair like squeaky squeaky clean um because you still want moisture in your hair okay so that's another thing i like about having my hair plaited up it does not squeaky clean my hair but it still be clean you know what I'm saying? it still be clean so what i tried to do the last time that i couldn't do i ran out of shampoo is fold my plaits up so that way they can get a little bit of this, these suds here okay so that's the only cleaning I'm going to do to that. That part of my hair. Ooh, I'm slanging shampoo everywhere, child. This is a messy process, y'all. So if y'all um, try to cop off me and be like, Go, my, my whole room got bubbles everywhere, honey. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. It ain't my fault. I'm doing what I do. <laughs> Proceed with caution, okay? All right. Make sure you got your towel with some tie around your head and baby, you good. Okay? Now massage that scalp up in there. Because you got that peppermint oil. Well, I got that peppermint oil in there. It's tingling. So what you want to do is massage it in there. Yes, Lord. Give yourself a scalp massage. And that way, see how my hair plaited up? While I'm doing this scalp massage here, my hair ain't getting you know, tangled within each other, within itself, because my hair is an individual plait, so my hair is it, it's holding my hair down so I can go and get this massage in, okay? Okay, child, I'm trying to learn y'all something. Now, this 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 technique is not for everybody. This shampooing way is not for everybody, because everybody can't, it's, you know, get a grip on it, you know what I'm saying? Get the hang of it. I've been doing it for a while, so... I'm used to it. And don't forget those edges because you got, you know, tied away. I don't forget my little edges. Make sure I got it all. And this rinse right here is going to be my last, y'all. The only the only time I rinse, the only, the way I rinse my hair is I just hold it over the sink and let the water fall, okay? Let the water fall the same way my braids are. You know what I'm saying? The same way my braids are flowing. Now I got, that's, got this towel around me for a reason. So I can catch all of this, okay? So now, I'm done. I'm done with the shampoo part. Next step is condition. So I'm going to rinse this out. And then I'll be right back, okay, y'all? Okay, y'all. I am back. And this is me towel drying my hair. Well, not towel drying. Just holding in that excess uh, water that was dripping. And I'm just going to take it down and show y'all what my hair look like after it's completely washed. Now, this is, I'm completely finished now. I am completely finished washing my hair. So, as y'all can see, that's what it looks like. And that is it, y'all. The very next video you will see is me deep conditioning my hair. And I will take you through the steps that I take that uh, I get to my deep condition or whatever I'm trying to say y'all anyway y'all thanks for the next video and that's all I gotta say in this video and I'm gonna holler at y'all later bye